Hey friends, it's Ann Vu here again with nothing but the truth. I got my crew, Sterling, Brian, H-Bomb. You gotta give it up to the fellas this no. week. The ladies couldn't make it, so today's hot topic is why are all the baddest chicks still single? This I get asked this question quite often, so it must be true. Mm -hmm. So I have an opinion, but I want to know what do you guys think from a male's perspective? There's two reasons. One, they're too fucking picky, and two, that's all they have to offer. Period. And what's Period. all they have to have offer? What's they're bad. Offer? They're lookers. They're they arm candy. So they're the chicks that you look at, and it's like she's untouchable. But like all those chicks, none of them have a ring, nor have they ever had a ring, and chances are, will they ever have a ring? Because all they do is they look at the world like. I'm that bad bitch, so I deserve X, Y, Z. Like, the world owes me something. We're all you shit. So it's like you get with all these dudes, you know, whether it's rappers or actors, whatever the fuck, you're the jump off for six months, they beat your brains out, and then they go on about their business, find another one looks just like you. Hmm. Or right. they're too picky, wow. where it's like, you know, I want a guy that fill in the blank, and it's 19 fucking things long, and then they'll find the guy that has, like, the top three, which chances are, you know, attractive, money, something else random, uh -huh. you know, finds that guy, he's a complete asshole, she's crying six months later, she finds another guy, meets the same criteria, it's rich, or whatever, you know, financially stable, we'll call it, you know, all that good shit, does the same shit, fucks her over, six months later, it's, it's a repeating cycle, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, I think that, you know, with a lot of those chicks, their, their, their scope of what they want is so narrow, and I mm -hmm. think that really what it comes down to is what they define as happiness is just completely superficial. And if yeah. your happiness is, is based off of superficial shit, then you're never going to be happy because it's never going to be enough. You're just going to keep running the assholes. Good answer. I like that answer. I right. think you're right on the money. What do That's you think, one thing. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to take it back a little bit. I think it starts off when, you, when, they're, when you're young. You already know who's going to be, you know, she's going to be fine when she get older. You used to say that. <laughs> like she's going to be a badass uh -huh. dime piece when she get up, growing up. So what happens is a lot of the guys over time, they're just always constantly coming at her. Trying to say, oh, I drink your bath water, you're so fine, you look so good. Uh, you know, and over years and years of getting that and blowing your head up, yeah. bath water. over time, you're just like, well, I got my pick of whoever, uh, you know, whoever the hell I want. So why should I have to settle for this guy, or this type of guy, or this type of guy? So over time, what happens is, is that they sit there and be like, well, you know, why should I get married because of this? You know, hey, I got my pick of the litter. I can do whatever I want. Ego's right. so big. They got to, yeah, you, know, you know, and that happens. Make their door larger just to get out the house. There you go. Their head blown up. That's it. I think you got a good point there. Mm -hmm. Well, I grew up as an ugly duckling, so that doesn't count. Bullshit. Okay, sorry, go ahead. Bullshit. Now, well, you know, that's ironic, too. I think a lot of the bad women don't get approached enough by the right dudes. Because a lot of the right dudes have always been, oh, man, I wish I could be. I mean, like, I, I used to play the numbers. I mean, you know, hell, if I, I speak to 20 women, I promise you I'm going to get such numbers. And I don't care, you know, what the range is. Most people don't put in the work to even get towards a bad woman. That makes sense? Yeah. Now, but the other thing is, we put them bad women on pedestals so many times that they get to a point where, you know, they're around that influence of other bad women. They're not even thinking like that. I mean, they're not even thinking that they mm -hmm. can get with a dude. Their expectations are so high that we're not even there. So by the time they realize they're in their 30s, and, and it's it. That's yeah, it. that makes sense. Yeah. I would agree with that completely. I would agree with that wholeheartedly. But to piggyback off what you said, because mm -hmm. I don't like, I went to Morehouse. Yeah. So... Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of Spelman chicks felt like their shit didn't stink. Not to stereotype all Spelman women. I love you. I've been on your campus multiple times. Point is, you know, you're still gonna nice. catch hell over there. Like, I mean, and that's, I'm, I don't give a fuck. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, the point is, is that there were a lot of, you know, just to use an example, there were a lot of chicks there that felt like their shit didn't stink. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like when dudes would approach them. You know what I mean? It's like they would high post them because it's like no matter who came up, it was like I can do better than you. And that was always the thought. Yeah. But eventually you're just going to run out of motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> Period. You're just going to run out of people. I, I eventually you just got, I mean, that's what used to happen all the time. Like spring break, all the Spellman chicks, they just fuck everybody. Because yeah. by then they're going through four years of dissing people. And it's like, wow, my cooch is dry. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, let, me get, let me get 10 seconds. Because I remember many times the baddest women, I'm talking about freshman year, maybe through grad school or whatever. It had, it had zero time for me, right? Yeah. But now later on, when the successes started coming in, and and maybe their 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 uh their pool they were fishing in got a little smaller. Yeah. They started realizing that they need to start dipping properly. Yeah. You know, so they started following up more. But guess what? That most of the dudes already married off to the women who weren't so high post, 
And now the bad women are still single and they got small mm-hmm. selection to pick from. Mm-hmm. And we not, we're spoken for now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I agree with you guys totally. I think it's all vanity. And uh, me, I've had some friends that are some of the baddest chicks. And some of the things that come out of their mouth, I'm looking at them like, what? Like, you know, they go to the club, they didn't get in. Oh, does he know who I am? I'm a stylist. Or, you know, I'm this or I'm that or whatever. Just walking around with that sense of entitlement. But you ain't entitled to shit, okay? You need to get your ass a job. Amen. Stop walking around like your shit don't stink. Preach. And maybe you'll get a man. Church. Amen. <sighs> Sorry, I just Tell had to get that off Amen. my chest. Tell Speaking from a woman who works for myself and <laughs> well, does for myself, you right. know what I'm saying? So anyway, we need to wrap this up. Thank you, fellas, for your comments. Ladies, I hope you're listening. Stop walking around like the shit don't stink. Damn. Who likes? Who wants to be around someone like that? Even a man. I don't want to be around right. a man that oh, thinks the shit don't stink. Right. Exactly. So stay tuned for the uh, next topic. It's going to be about our women, speaking of finances, our women compromising personal relationships for financial stability. What a great topic to follow up to this one. Anyway, please comment in the box below. And if you're a bad chick and you're still single, tell me what kind of obstacles are you running into? Are we wrong? I want to know what's up with y'all. Anyway, you can find me on booseviews.blogspot.com. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll catch you next time. Don't forget to comment. Thank you. Peace out.